everyone welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing well today's class is going to be a sewing class we'll be learning how to sew our halter neck top today now we already did the patterns for this top in our last class so please check the previous tutorial for that class so that you can follow along with this class and kindly subscribe to my channel to follow along with my pattern making and sewing tutorials please share my tutorials and leave me a comment if you found them helpful and if there's any garments that you want me to make a tutorial for please drop them in the comment box below i'll be happy to help so for our halter neck top we'll be using about 1.5 meters of fabric now i'm using 1.5 meters of fabric because for the front part the center front part i'm going to be using same fabric for the lining and even for the facing for the back side i'm going to be using same fabric so maybe one meter of fabric may be enough for you depending on your size and the length you are making so i'll be using this fabric this fabric has a bit of stretch in it like i mentioned when i was drafting the patterns i'm using a stretchy fabric for it so if you're not using a stretch fabric for yours and you're using a woven fabric you can go ahead and and install a zipper at the back it's still going to work but for this class i'm not going to install any zipper because my fabric has some stretch or is stretchy okay so i'm going to go ahead now and place my patterns on my fabric and then cut them out so when you finish cutting the next thing will be for us to start stitching now there is more than one method to stitch this um, halter neck top um, but I'm going to use the method that will give a very clean and professional finishing. So keep watching and then please pay attention to every step. Okay, so this is my front pattern piece. So just lay your front pattern piece like this. And this is the right side of my fabric. Now you're going to take your back piece. Yeah, so this is my back piece. And then just place it on it like this with right side facing the right side and then you're just going to go stitch you're going to go stitch the side seam so from here all the way down you stitch it and you leave it a little bit here just leave a little bit here because we're going to stitch the lower section to the front lower section to the front later so stitch from here from here the up all the way down to somewhere here and just leave a little bit you're going to do exactly the same thing for the other side so here's what i did i left a little bit like this after stitching this part and i did the same thing for this other side okay so we're going to set this aside and now you're going to take the other front piece which is going to serve as the uh, facing for the upper section and then you take the back facing front facing and back facing okay now you're going to place them together and then you're also going to join them just the way you join the first part so you join them from here from the underarm all the way down to somewhere here and you leave this part open a little bit we're going to finish it up later you're going to do exactly the same thing for this side as well so now you're going to place the main body of your top like this and then you're going to attach it with the facing now okay so this is my facing i've already joined it together the front and the back facing so you place the facing or the front part on top of the main uh, halter neck top just place it like this with the right side facing the right side the right side of the fabric facing the right side of the fabric Place them together just like this okay now first of all make sure you match the side seam the side seam of 
your halter neck and the side seam of your facing. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So just place them together, use your pins to hold them together in place. Okay, so you do exactly the same thing for this other side as well. Okay, so now you're going to take it to the sewing machine and then you're going to stitch, you're going to stitch from the armhole like this all the way down to the end of your your halter neck, the straps to tie it. You stitch it all the way down, you can pin it and then you, when you get to this part, you also stitch it like this or you can cross it like this depending on what shape you want to have at the end and then you go ahead to stitch it all the way down down you stitch your v neck you stitch your v neck nicely you go all the way up it's a very long stitch <laughs> okay you go all the way up just like this you continue up and then you close the ends and then you come back again just like this and all the way down to this part i hope you're not confused <laughs> okay so once I finish stitching it I'm going to show it to you so I suggest that you use uh, your pins to hold them together in place first before you go ahead to stitch so this is what your top is going to look like after joining the facing to it just like this so now we're going to flip it to the right side. But before we do that, um, see, I decided to slant the ends of my halter neck. So I'm just going to chop this off a little bit so that it will look neat inside. And then for this V-neck here, I'm just going to give it a little snip so that it can relax very well. So just give it a little snip. Yeah, so your V-neck can relax nicely. Now we're going to flip it to the right side now. So you can use you can use anything to bring it out. And uh, this is what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to place it in like that so that I can bring turn it out nicely. So when you flip it to the right side, you're going to have something like this. Now, if you look at the edges here, or the armhole here, you see it's looking nice and neat, very nice finishing. The same with the other side. Okay, so now we have the back sides to finish off. Now, this is my back side. I have not finished it off with the facing. So you're going to stitch the back side. Now, let me show you from the inside so that you can see it very well. Okay. So you see, this is my facing, the facing and my center back piece. So you're just going to go stitch it from here now, from the side seam, all the way down to the other side seam. This is actually the up, this is actually the neckline. So I hope you don't get confused. Okay, so you're going to stitch the back neckline with the facing. Just finish it up and then you can top stitch on it so that your facing will relax very well okay so when you finish attaching your back facing to the back side you're going to have something like this now you see i went ahead to top stitch on the back facing so that it can relax very well i top stitch it all the way as far as i could go even under the armhole so you top stitch as far as you can go and then on the neckline too, the front neckline, I also went ahead to top stitch it a little bit so that it will relax. I top stitch on the facing so that it will relax very well and the facing will not be peeping out. Okay, so once you finish, be sure to give it a very good press. Now you can see the inside finishing. You see it's already looking nice and neat. 
Now the next thing we are going to do is for us to pull the garters in front, this um, upper front um, section. So first of all, we are going to go best these two pieces together. I mean, just hold them together, stitch them together so that they will not, um, they won't be separated. So you can stitch from, just leave a little bit here for the front part, leave a little bit on the side like this. And then you stitch with long stitches, you stitch them together all the way down to somewhere around here. Again, you leave a little bit on this side. Now the idea is just to hold these two pieces together. I'm not doing anything um, different, okay? So when I finished joining the two pieces together, I went ahead to I run two rows of stitches for garters. So you can see them. Now you're going to run it from, you're going to start it from the first notch all the way down to the second notch here. You remember our notches when we were drafting our patterns. And then you do the same thing for this other side. And then you're going to pull your, you're going to pull your threads to make your garters. Okay, so you make your garters just like this and then you take your lower front section and then you look for the, yeah, okay. So you place it like this. Now you place your center, the center front against the center front of this piece. You mark or you use your pins to hold them together in place and then you mark your, you match your notches so that yeah so match your notches your notches here and your notches here match them together you match the other one as well now if you feel that if there's a surplus here now you can open your garters a little bit Yeah, something like this. Okay. And then you use your pins to hold them together in place. So once you're happy with the way it is, you're going to stitch from one end all the way down to the other end. So when you finish joining them together, you're going to have something like this. Now when you flip it to the right side of the fabric, you're going to have something like this. Now the next thing we're going to do will be for us to join the side seams. So you're going to take the side seam, leave the back facing alone, just leave it the way it is for now. We're going to finish off that later. So you take the side seam, the back and the front side seam, just like this. And then you're going to stitch from somewhere here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. You're going to stitch all the way down to the end. And then you do exactly the same thing for the other side. So now we need to finish this part very nicely. So you see this facing here, this back facing. So you're going to stitch it from the inside like this. So you're just going to stitch it from where you stopped and stitch it to the end and you do the same thing for the other side and then you're going to open press your seam allowance your side seam allowance and then you fold in your hem very nicely like this and then you go and stitch it all around so when you finish your hem you're going to give it a very good press and let me show you how the inside looks like so the inner seam or the, uh, the side seam is going to look like this. Nice finishing, right? And it's also going to look like this on the other side. Okay, so that will be it for this class. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you found it simple enough for, 
to follow and if you really do enjoy this class if you find it helpful please give me a thumbs up and like share drop a comment for me to know what you think and please if you have not already subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button now i've been looking forward to seeing your make if you do make yours please send me a picture or tag me on instagram at trex fashion until i see you in my next class do have a blessed day bye bye